Okay, this is the first seventh grade math lesson um, on YouTube. I've done several with the eighth graders, but this is my first seventh grade one. So just like I said on the eighth grade videos, this is kind of weird, but I think it's the best thing to do considering where we are. So when you're watching these videos, don't just watch, but have a piece of paper out, have your book handy and be working the problems with me as I'm working them on the video. That way you can be understanding and doing the work for yourself and not just watching. You're not gonna pick up as much um, by just looking at what I'm doing. So be having a piece of paper, be working the problems with me, okay? And of course, the length of the video will just depend on what we're talking about in the math lesson. All right, so the first one is lesson 88, page 534. Multiple unit multipliers converting units of area. All right, so you guys have been working with unit multipliers. All right, so again, a unit multiplier is where you have two different units that are equal to each other and you're using that to convert one measurement into another. So for instance, right here, I have 15 yards at the top of the page. Okay, so let's just say that a problem in your lesson said, using a unit multiplier, convert 15 yards to feet. All right, now hopefully you remember how to do this. You take your 15 yards, you put it over one, no units on the bottom, just over the number one. Then you multiply it by your unit multiplier. Now if we're converting to feet, all right, then we need to have feet left over. We want our yards to cancel out with yards. All right, so you could think how many feet are in a yard. Okay, three. So this, this is our unit multiplier. Three feet over one yard. One unit, well, two units, they're equal though. There's three feet in a yard, so they equal the same measure, but there's two different units being used here, units of measurement. All right, now make sure you cancel out your yards. All right, now your, um, your units of measurement are just as important as your numbers, okay? Don't forget that. A lot of times people don't want to write their units. That's not smart. Like I've told you before, when you get into higher math, you're going to be using tons of unit multipliers going across the page. So you need to be able to be in the habit of quickly writing out your units and, multi and um, canceling of those kind of things. Okay, so don't be lazy. All right, so you cancel out your yards and then you do 15 times 3. Okay, that's going to be 45 and feet. And that's what we wanted. We wanted to convert to feet. Okay, so that was... A unit multiplier. Now in this lesson they want you to use two. So example one says use two unit multipliers to convert five hours to seconds. So if I look at your work I better see two unit multipliers. All right now what are we converting here? Five hours to seconds. So again you always take what they give you and you put it over one. No units on the bottom just the number one. Five hours. Now we're converting this to seconds. We're using two unit multipliers. Okay, so naturally, what can we go from hours to seconds, something in between? Minutes. So we're going to do 60 minutes over one hour. All right, that's one unit multiplier. We need two. So then, of course, we can do 60 seconds over one minute. You can be more specific here. All right, so our hours cancel out. Again, your units are as important as your numbers. Your minutes cancel out. You're left with seconds. That's good. That's what we wanted. So then all you have to do is the multiplication of the actual numbers. Okay. So 5 times 60, that's going to be 300. 300 times 60, 0, 0, 0, 18. So you're going to get 18,000 seconds. Okay. So again, if I look at your work, I need to see two unit multipliers because that's what the problem said to do, use two unit multipliers. So if you're not using two unit multipliers, you're not doing the problem correctly. All right, now you can use this principle to complete the second part of the lesson, converting units of area. All right, convert five yards squared to square feet. All right, now if I wrote two squared, what would you do? You would do two times two. So if you see the expression yard squared or miles squared or whatever, okay, then that really means yards times yards, okay, just like numbers. 
So if you have five yards squared and you're converting this to feet, the reason you need two unit multipliers is because it takes yards times yards to cancel out yards squared. All right, so right here I'm going to write two lines because I know I'm going to have two unit multipliers. And I'm converting to feet. Okay, so we're going to use the same one we used up here. Three feet over one yard. But we need two. We have yards squared, which is equivalent to yards times yards. So we have to have two yards to cancel out yards squared. All right, now five times three, that's 15. 15 times three is 45. And we have feet times feet, and that's going to be feet squared. So five yards squared to square feet, 45 feet squared. Okay, so again, we use two unit multipliers, one, two. Now this time we use two of the same unit multipliers. Up here we use two different ones. Here we use two of the same. But it's still correct to convert five yards squared to two, two square feet, 45 feet squared. All right, what about example three? Convert one and two tenths of meters squared to square centimeters. Okay, so you're going to put 1.2 meters squared for one. And then we're going to use two unit multipliers here. So we're dealing with squares. All right, so centimeters. All right, how many centimeters are in a meter? Okay. It's going to be 100, right? 100 centimeters. Okay, so we've got our meters times meters, and that'll cancel out. All right, and then we have to do 1.2 times 100 times 100. All right, now if you remember when you're multiplying a decimal by um, powers of 10 here, all you have to do is move your decimal over. So we've got one, two, three, four zeros. So we just need to move our decimal over four times. One, two, three, four. Fill those in with zeros. So your answer is gonna be 12,000 centimeters squared, because remember we had centimeters times centimeters, centimeters squared, and that's going to be your answer. All right, for your practice problems, how, you, how I want you to do these is go ahead and pause this video and work these on your own, work A through D, all right, and then play the video once you're done, and I'll give you the answers right away, and you can see if you got them correct. All right, so pause the video and work these for practice problems. Okay, I'm assuming that you have worked the problems and you've pressed play. All right, so here are the answers, okay? For A, you should get 180 inches. For B, you should get 5,400 seconds. For C, you should get 135 feet squared. And for D, you should get 2,000 millimeters squared. Make sure you're writing your units. Those are just as important. And if you don't, um, then I would circle on your page. I would circle it and put units. You need to write those. Okay, if you got the answers correct, then you can just start your lesson. If you didn't get them correct, um, you can try them again. Or I'm going to do them right here and maybe you can figure out what you did wrong. Okay, so you've got five yards and we're converting to inches. And the book says use two unit multipliers to, con to perform each of these conversions. So we should be using two for each. All right, so if you've got five yards over one. All right, now we're converting this to inches. So first we're going to do three feet in a yard and then 12 inches in a foot. Yards will cancel, feet will cancel. So we're left with five times three times 12 inches. All right, now five times three, that's 15. And then 15 times 12, 10. Two times one is two plus one is three. 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 1 is 1, so that's going to be 180 inches, okay? Now for B, 1 and a half hours, 2 seconds, okay? Let's do 1.5, write it as a decimal, okay? We've got 1.5 hours, and we're going to go 60 minutes in an hour, and then 60 seconds in a minute, hours will cancel, 
minutes will cancel. So then you just do the multiplication, okay? 1.5 times 60. That's 90. And then 90 times 60, 5,400. 5,400 seconds. All right, C. All right, for C, you've got 15 yards squared, and you're gonna convert this to square feet. Put it over one, and then three feet over one yard, three feet over one yard. Your yards will cancel. So then you're gonna do 15 times three, which is 45, 45 times three, 135 feet times feet, which is feet squared. And then lastly, letter D, 20 centimeters squared. Again, put it over one times square millimeters. All right, now try to remember how many millimeters are in a centimeter, okay? There are 10, so we're gonna have 10 millimeters over one centimeter, 10 millimeters over one centimeter. We can cancel out our centimeters with our centimeters squared. So then we're gonna have 20 times 10 times 10. So that's gonna be 20, and then you can just add on those zeros. So you're gonna get 2,000 millimeters squared. All right, you did a good job. Now, you noticed that I was smudging here as I was going. So like I reminded the eighth graders, this is another reason why I want you to work your lessons in pencil. Don't be working them in pen like I am. I'm just doing that so you can see on the video. All right, now if you um, have gotten those answers, make sure you put them on your paper. I wanna see the practice problem answers on your papers when you turn them in. Okay, we're done. Go ahead and start your lesson.